Well, from dinners to breakfast, there was a special meal this morning for past marathon champs. The champion's breakfast was held this morning, and that's where our Paul Burton caught up with some of the running elite for a little reflection and some advice. The Boston Marathon brings out the best in people, and on Sunday, the best of the best were gathered together, both at the finish line... I get it. Go get it. It's going to be a good day for us. ...and at the Champions Breakfast at the Fairmont Copley Plaza Hotel. Two themes that we are celebrating this weekend are 50 years of women's running at Boston and our Native American traditions. At the breakfast, current Boston Marathon runners got the opportunity to listen to past legends, champions, and pioneers like Bobby Gibb, the first woman to run Boston in 1966. The main thing I was doing running the Boston Marathon was healing the split between men and women. When I first ran, the first water stop was 11.2 miles just past Natick Center. And on a hot day, that was pretty tough. Inspiring. Uh, the stories that were shared, uh, the way in which it was shared, and the meaning behind the stories, uh, powerful. At the finish line, John Hancock's elite athletes took time to answer questions from anxious runners. Just run your marathon pace and don't push it. And you? Hydration. Drink as much water starting today. If, if someone goes and it's hot, will you go with them? Um, it depends on the scenario. <laughs> I'll say no. I won here in 2012 when it was very hot, and when the people took off, I chose not to. Okay. How important sleep is the night before. I don't know anyone who gets a good night's sleep the night before a marathon. That's totally normal. A pre-run meal? So. Oh, pasta. I like like chicken and sweet potatoes, that kind of stuff. Any ice cream? No ice cream. After, After the race. After. Yeah. <laughs> In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.